Today we are unboxing the GoPro Hero 11 Black Creators Edition bundle. We currently record all our adventures on our channel with a single GoPro Hero 10, but we felt that we missed some epic shots with a single camera setup and decided to purchase the Hero 11. There aren't major differences between the Hero 10 and 11, but there's a few features we are super excited about. Let's get started. I like the big carry case. It is big enough to hold all our gear. I just wish that it had compartments to keep our gear organized. As you would expect, the standard literature we won't read and stickers we won't use. You need to install the quick application as the camera needs to be updated before you can use it. Luckily, it only took a few minutes. Please note, this is just a typical unboxing and review by your average consumer. Here we have the media mod. This is one of the first accessories we added to our Hero 10 after we scrapped our first video due to poor audio quality. Warning, media mod is not waterproof and is not made for underwater use. The GoPro Volta is going to be a game changer for us. It has a built-in battery that combines with a standard and Endero battery to triple its normal battery life. If you have ever owned a GoPro, you will know how frustrating it is to switch between batteries and camera modes while shooting. It has a flip-out tripod Sweet. legs and retractable mounting fingers to attach other mounts to. Bonus little light, apparently a lot of magic, will test this out over the next few weeks. With a Volta that can be used as an on-the-go fast charger and an Enduro battery, we will never run out of battery life on our adventures. It's easy to distinguish between the two different types of batteries. The standard battery is blue and the Enduro battery is grey. The Euro 11 looks exactly like the Euro 10. Personally, the only way I can distinguish between the two is I flip it on its side. We'll order the tempered screen protector soon. But wait, there's more. Mounting buckles. The removal foam mic cover to suppress the wind. Two times USB-C cables. You can never have enough of these, it seems. Curved adhesive mount for our bike helmet. USB pass-through door. Now, this is cool. Without this, you have to open the door to plug in the USB cable to power your camera through extra long shooting sessions. The pass-through door lets you plug in the USB cable through the door. Warning, it is weather resistant. Again, it is not waterproof. Extra thumb screws. Okay, let's power it up for the first time. Remember that the camera needs to update before you use it. Thank you GoPro for all the reminders I did not read. Let's switch it on and the battery is flat. Moving on, select your language. Agree to a few settings. Luckily, I already have the quick app installed on my phone. Search for device. Pair the device. We rename the device as we'll have two connected to the app. I agree. And update camera. This will take a few minutes.
we wanted to switch on the Volta. You can swivel your capturing angles by pulling the tip. When you connect the media mod to the Volta, it needs to be paired. You need to go to Preferences, Wireless Connections, Connect to Device, and then select Volta. Press Bluetooth button for a few seconds to pair the device automatically. Now it is good to go. Now we have an easy one-handed control of our camera. You can release the mounting figures by pressing the button. My first impression was that it is to attach additional mounts, but it can also make it easy to attach straps. Fast forward by a few days. We took the Euro 11 out for a test run after making this unboxing video. We could see a clear difference between the Euro 10 and 11 footage. This was shot with the Euro 10 attached to a selfie stick. You can be the judge of that. We are in love with the Enduro battery on the Volta. We used the Enduro battery in the Euro 10 and where we would normally be on battery number 3, we were still on battery number 1. We used the standard battery in the Volta and after the eventful day, our battery life was still at 100%. This is a game changer. The one feature that we were most excited about was the fact that we can use the 8x7 aspect ratio, which we still need to play around with. Now we don't have to choose whether we are filming 16x9 or 9x16 but now we can film 8x7 and choose what platform we are creating a video for. With a GoPro Hero 10 we would make a YouTube short but as soon as we cropped it we would lose the quality or it would simply not work. For us this feature in itself made it worth the upgrade. All in all we are in love with the Hero 11 and am even considering replacing the Hero 10 with another 11. If you liked this video, please remember to like and subscribe to follow our epic YouTube journey.